Yeah, JD, I guess the news came out this morning that you're sixth man of the year. What, what was your reaction to that? And what's that mean to you? Uh, it was a kind of like, I was proud of myself, but then again, I just want to keep going. And just, that's just a testament of my teammates and my coaching staff. Scotty. JD, Coach Patrick tweeted a few minutes ago that it took no major sacrifice from you to get sixth man of the year. I wondered if you could kind of detail, you know, maybe what the season was like and maybe some of those sacrifices to get to get here. Uh, just all the hard work that we put in each and every day. And just, I mean, my talents, I know I could be a starter on the team, but just making that sacrifice to come off the bench for the, what's the best for the team. I mean, it just benefited. Curtis. Hey, JD, this time of year, you, you hear a lot of people talk about teams that are built to win in March. And some people have been saying that about you guys lately. What do you think it is that makes this team dangerous in postseason play? Uh, everybody want to see everybody be successful. I feel like that's one of the biggest keys of this team. Like, it's everybody love each other. So, Everybody play hard for each other. Bob. Yeah, J.D., you know, I, m m most guys want to start. I mean, you're, you're still playing big minutes, but um, what's the key to embracing coming off the bench as opposed to starting? Uh, just knowing that you're going to have an opportunity and you just got to come in and play as hard as you can and just be prepared each and every day to be ready when your name is called. I know Eric Musselman said, you know, they, they worked on you with your shot selection, being more of a playmaker for others, improving on your defense. It seems like you're you're doing all those things. You're you're shooting better, you're you're getting a lot of steals, you're setting guys up. What's kind of been the evolution of your game this season, do you think, from the start to, to how you're playing now? Uh just slowing down, letting the game come to me, seeing what the defense is giving me. Like just making the right reads and just being simple. And then uh, Moses, you know, uh, first team all conference and a uh, newcomer of the year. What, 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 what's your thoughts on how Moses has played and what, what he's done for the team this season? Oh, I'm very proud of uh, Moses. Usually a freshman don't have that type of impact, but his impact on this team is a major part of where we're at now. So I couldn't be more proud of, of Moses and I'm surprised he didn't get player of the year, to be honest. Yeah, I got a couple more if time allows. So thanks. Nate. Just, uh, J.D., what kind of what are your memories of Georgia and Missouri since those are going to be one of the two teams you play th uh, Friday? You said, can you say it, repeat uh, that again? Georgia and Missouri, just kind of your, 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 you know, what do you think about those teams and, and you know, from your first games on them? Uh, they're very good teams. You got to come play for 40 minutes. You can't take possessions off. And we fighting to keep going. So it's going to be a dog fight. Thanks. Randy? JD, on both first or second team, where can you find the name of Justin Smith? What kind of impact do you feel like Justin's had on the team this year? And uh, do you feel like he was certainly deserving of some type of award? For sure. Um, Justin is like, is, is our leader. Uh, just like in the games, he keep us composed, keep us uh, still headed. So, I mean, he deserved all the recognition that he get. Um, yep. Yeah, sorry. Um, yeah, JD, the, the SEC tournament, uh, Arkansas has only won at one time. I'm not sure if you guys can do yourselves a lot of good by winning it. Maybe you can improve your seed, but you're obviously in the NCAA tournament. you got a good seed. It looks like a three probably. Um, what, what's the motivation for the team uh, for the SEC tournament? Would it be, would it be a big deal to win it? Because Arkansas has only done it one time in like 30 years in the league. Uh, we actually – 
uh, yesterday in practice, we had Huddle Up and Coach asked us who are won the NCAA, I mean, seeding tournament, and only one person raised their hand. So, <clears throat> I mean, everybody else want to win as just as bad as the one person who won, which is Jalen Tate. So we ain't never been there, so we want to go win it too. And the, the Missouri in particular, um, you guys split games with them and, and Justin missed the game and then Tillman missed the game for, from Missouri. Um, this would kind of, if you do play Missouri, it'd kind of be the rubber match. Uh, what, what, what would you think if you played Missouri and especially if Justin and Tillman finally got to meet up? Uh, like I said, it's going to be a dog fight and we, we ready to, and we prepared for a dog fight. So it'd be good to look forward to watching. And you guys beat Georgia by 30, you know, here, would you have any trouble getting up to play Georgia again? Or, or is there any concern about overlooking a team you beat so, so soundly here? Uh, they had a few players that didn't play that's playing pretty well right now. So, I mean, we not overlooking nobody and we just going to take it one game at a time. Okay. Th thank you. And congratulations on your, on your sixth man award. Thank you. Thank you. Fudge? Yeah, JD, you said you're surprised Moses didn't get SEC Player of the Year and, you know, Justin didn't get honored and some people thought Coach Musk should have been Coach of the Year. How does the team take that? Are, are y'all taking that, like, with a, a chip on your shoulder or how are y'all approaching it? Uh, for sure, you're going to have a little chip on your shoulder when you feel like you deserve some recognition. And it just going to make us more hungry to prove why our players should have been that way. Mike, I have I have one more. Go ahead. Uh, JD, on any team that you've played on in the past, have you ever had a role where you're primarily coming off the bench or was this brand new? Uh, yeah, this was brand new. And I think you, you said earlier that this team's got really good chemistry, but I think a lot of a lot of guys on a lot of different teams would say their chemistry is really is really, really good and kind of sets them apart. But what makes the chemistry on this team different? Uh just, you know, coming in each and every day, going through the things that we go through with each other and just being able to have a smile on our face while we're doing it, it just shows a lot and the character of these guys. So, I mean, it's just a brotherhood if you really want me to be honest. Like everybody tight, everybody love each other here. So, I mean. Bob, you said you had one more? Yeah, Jack, I want you know, you started one game this year. It was at Auburn. I was just looking at the stats. It wasn't a very good game for you. I think you went over for five, only played 10 minutes. But you've, you've played really well in most of the games, other games coming off the bench. What do you remember about that start? And did that sort of convince you, hey, as long as I'm getting my minutes, who cares if I start? But coming off the bench is better. Or just what, what do you remember about that game? And, and do you just feel like maybe your niche, at least this season on this team, is to come off the bench? Uh, I kind of felt like that, but then again, like, it don't matter who start the games, no matter who finish. And I feel like for majority of the games, I've been on the court when it's t uh, the game's going to be over, so. Yeah, and, and then you had three steals again the other day. I think you've got something like 10 or 11 steals in the last three, so you've really ramped up your defense. Is that just something you can see just going to keep getting better for you? Yeah, something definitely I see myself getting better. Okay, thank you. Thanks, JD. We'll bring in the Moses.